Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna be doing another handbag review for you guys today. I wanted to review my Gucci Marmont flat bag for you guys. I have had this bag now for almost a year. I think it's actually just over a year now. I feel it's a really trendy bag and with spring quickly approaching, there may be quite a few of you that have this bag on your wish list and you may be seriously considering it. So I thought it was a perfect time to throw this bag review out there for you guys. So I hope you enjoy. So I've had this bag for a year now, so I feel I've used it quite a bit that I can honestly put in a really good thorough review of it for you guys. I have had zero regrets after purchasing this bag. It is a very trendy bag. Um, I can't guarantee that it would turn into a classic style. It has been around already for quite a few years and it is still kicking around. A lot of people still are showing a lot of interest in the bag. And in my honest opinion, from being someone who who actually owns it I love this bag I have no plans on ever selling it I find that it coordinates really well for daytime and evening wear I think that makes it a very versatile bag I mean that's an important fact for me is how much use I'm gonna be able to get out of a bag if I'm gonna be spending that much amount of money on a handbag so having had the bag for a year, I have used this bag a lot. And this bag looks brand new. There is zero wear and tear after using it all of those times for a solid year. So I'm super pleased about that. I feel that that's really great value then in that sense for your money. This bag has gone up a few hundred dollars since I did purchase it. Um, it is on the pricier side for considering it is a small bag. It is full leather though. So I fell in love with the nude color that this bag comes in. It's actually listed as the dusty pink color. I wanted to go with the nude color. This color is what I initially saw the bag in. Uh, I actually saw this bag for the very first time on Shea Whitney's channel. She was doing an unboxing of it. Um, she, however, had the larger size of the bag. So this one is the small size. Their sizing can be a little bit confusing. They have a lot of options, and to me, I think the wording is a little bit off. So this one is the small. There is another size that looks identical to this, but it's called the mini. It is smaller. It does have a shorter chain drop, and the bag itself is a little bit smaller. Um, and then there is a larger size of this one, and it's called the medium. Now, the medium is the size that Shea Whitney had. I believe she just sold it. Um, but that was the size that I originally saw the bag in, but I felt that this size was probably a decent size for me. It's quite comparable to my Louis Vuitton favorite. I carry the exact same items in this bag that I do within my favorite. Um, give or take, I'm able to squeeze in a couple extra items in this one. So I'll give you guys a little bit of a rundown about the bag. I also am gonna show you what I can keep in this bag and then I'll give you guys some mod shots as well, just so that you can see the bag on me. There's a few different ways that you can wear the bag. Um, you can double up this sliding chain strap. If you wear it like this as a shoulder bag, in this chain here then the drop is 12 inches in length. If you wear it fully extended, if you're wearing it on one shoulder or crossbody, um, it says on the website that it's 22 inches in length. This is obviously a full leather bag. It doesn't specify what type of leather, it just says leather. My guess um, from having the bag and comparing the bags, I think the most common leather for these types of bags is most likely a cowhide leather. Um, that would be my guess. So it does have the antique gold hardware, which I think is a really nice touch. It's not too shiny. I really like the antique look. It does have the double G's for the Gucci symbol. So on the back of the bag, a lot of people don't like this idea, but it does have a heart on the back. I have no problem with that. I don't think it's unattractive at all. If you did go with another style of Gucci bag, um, they have the camera bag. Now that one is, it's a different style. It's not a flat bag, uh, but on the back, on the reverse of that one it actually has the two G's stitched in instead a lot of people prefer that I have no problem with the heart on the back I think it's actually kind of cute a lot of people don't like that I think they just feel that it cheapens the look of the bag I think it's really nice um, it does have this it's called matelasse I believe it's a chevron quilting pattern that basically makes the leather pop out in certain areas like an embossing the stitching that pattern is the matelasse 
So it is a chevron style pattern. So I think that's really attractive as well. So to get into this bag, there is a button closure right underneath here. The lock is honestly really great. It never pops open. Inside the bag is just one compartment. There is a small zip in the back. The zipper works really, really nice. I rarely put anything in there, but it is a very smooth, high quality zipper. So I have no complaints about that zipper. Inside the bag is lined with, it's like a microfiber. It's supposed to have like a suede like feeling to it. Super soft, it's really nice. I think that would probably make it really easy for you guys to wipe it out. I have not put a liner inside this bag, even though it is a light color. Um, I've had no issue with any dirt or any staining happening inside the bag, but you guys know how careful I am about putting things in this bag um, if I'm carrying anything like say like a little hand sanitizer I do actually put it in a Ziploc bag prior to putting it inside any of my handbags so I think that alleviates any potential staining as well any cosmetics I put inside um, a pouch right now I'm using a mini pochette so I would pile all my cosmetics anything that could potentially stain the inside lining of a handbag inside a little pouch like that um, but you can see it is a decent amount of room inside the small size it's a really good everyday Day, and I wear it as a crossbody so it's a really great everyday crossbody size now with it being a lighter color leather I'm sure a lot of you your instant thought is color transfer and to be honest I was also very concerned with that as well now I do take special care with my outfits that I pair this bag with I would never wear this bag where it's gonna be hitting my hip and I'm wearing maybe a pair of black jeans or a pair of dark denim I would never wear it like that um, if I am going to be wearing it with a darker color on the bottom, I double up the chain so it's most likely resting on my shirt or on my sweater. It's going to be doing all of the rubbing on that material instead. If I am going to be wearing it crossbody or on one shoulder, um, then I would just pair it up with a lighter color denim. Lighter color denims I find have no issue with color transfer, white jeans, uh, maybe like a light linen pant for the summer. But on a regular basis, I would just wear it with a light color denim like the ones that I'm wearing today. This would actually be an outfit that I would pair this bag up with, no problem. I'd have no concerns with these two colors, the light denim with a lighter gray sweater, with there being any color transfer at all. So I haven't had to actually wipe down the back at all because I have not had any color transfer on this bag so far. Um, one tip for you guys, I have not actually tried this, but I did see this on another another uh, YouTuber's channel that she actually sprays her jeans. Uh, anything that's gonna be a concern for her for color transfer, she actually sprays it with the fabric Scotch Guard. Now it's the one that you can actually get um, for clothing. So she actually sprays her jeans. She does not spray her handbags. So you guys could try that as well if you guys are concerned with having any color transfer. I haven't actually tried that method myself. I did buy the canister just in case, but I haven't actually had to use it yet. So that is an option for you guys. One definite con about this bag other than potential color transfer, but again, I have not had any issues with that. One con would be that this bag is designed as just a single flap design. You can see that the chain actually loops around and comes through the actual top flap part of the bag. So one thing that I'm sure you guys have noticed by looking at this bag maybe online, on Instagram or on Pinterest, that the bag it tends to over time get really pointed and flat. A lot of the older bags that I've seen, they are completely smushed. Now, there's a couple of things that I do to avoid that from happening. When I'm not using this bag, and you guys know that I rotate through my bag, so I don't use my handbags for normally more than a week at a time. When I'm not using it, I keep this handbag stuffed. Now, it came with packing paper, and I do still use that. Um, the original one that it came with. I keep this bag fully stuffed with the paper that it came with from Gucci. Another way that I stuff my bags is with air paper. And no, those ones I actually get for free. Every time I order something from Amazon, the bags or the boxes, sorry, are always loaded with that air paper. I shove those inside my handbags and that keeps it nice and stuffed. So when I'm not using it, I stuff it. When I am using it, one way that you can wear it to avoid that pointiness from happening at the top is to wear it with the strap doubled up on one shoulder like this. Now you can see from the side view that it is actually evenly dispersing the weight of the bag a lot more evenly by having the weight on both of the straps. Now, if you were to wear it, which I do still wear it this way, but not too often and definitely not for a long period of time. If you were to wear it crossbody, which I do wear it that way, um, you 
you can see on here that all of the weight is basically coming off of just this one extension of the strap. You've got the other strap resting right across the front of the bag. So you can see even for me wearing it like this, it does start to make it look a little bit more pointed. Now you're gonna have that look if you wear it just on one shoulder with the strap fully extended, or if you are wearing it crossbody. And I'm sure it depends as well on how much weight you actually put inside the bag, uh, depending on how much of an actual pull it's gonna have on the top of the handbag. So just be careful with that. Um, I do give it a little squish down after I wear it as well, just to try and help it along so that it doesn't get that pointed effect. I don't think it's a very attractive look that the bag ends up getting. So I am being really cautious and trying to avoid that from happening. But I wouldn't classify that as being enough of a con that I wouldn't purchase this handbag. So one other area for you guys to just be aware of and to be cautious about, you can see on the side of the bag that this area right here when the flap top closes down, that you are left with a gap on the side. Now this is part of the design, it's not a flaw with the way that this bag was made. Um, I don't have the issue of items falling out. I don't put any small loose items inside my handbags. I put everything in small pouches um, so they are more contained within that pouch. I don't ever have an issue with losing small items, but I'm sure that's just something for you guys to be aware of and for you guys to watch out for if you end up purchasing this bag. So next I wanna give you guys a really good feel for how much fits inside this handbag. So I'm gonna open it up and I'm just gonna start filling it and showing you guys the placement of all of the items that I would carry on a regular day basis. So I have mentioned to you guys and shown you guys so many times, you guys are probably so tired of seeing this piece. This is my Louis Vuitton mini pochette. It's my first catch-all, so I keep all those little items that I was referring to in this guy right here. So this one slides in with no problem at all, barely takes up any room. There's a ton of space within the bag. So the next item that I would use in a handbag like this would be a compact size wallet. Now this one is my Louis Vuitton multi-cat wallet. I use this guy in all of my smaller handbags. So I positioned that one just off to the side here. So you can see in there, still a ton of space. So the next item that I would be putting in would be my phone. This is an iPhone, I believe it's the iPhone X. So I do slide that one right behind the mini pochette. So my next item would be my Louis Vuitton clay. Now in here I keep my membership cards um, as well as any spare change. So this one is a definite must for me to carry around on an everyday basis. So I'm gonna actually pop that one right in front of my wallet. Now the last item that I'd be taking around would be my travel size brush. I bring this as often as I can if I can fit it in my handbag. Super handy, it's got a little mirror on it and then a little brush. I just picked this one up I think from the drugstore. I normally go to Shoppers Drug Mart, so I most likely found it there. And this one honestly I just toss in right on the top. Now I don't have it with me, but if I was carrying sunglasses, my Ray-Ban sunglasses do fit inside here as well. You can see there where everything is placed and then you can also get a really good look at how much room I actually have left in there. So it's definitely not overstuffed. I have a ton of more room that I could fit some smaller size items in there. So I wanna do just a couple of mod shots for you guys to show you guys where the bag would sit on my body. So if you guys are new here to my channel, I am 5'2 in height. Um, I'm sure a lot of you are a lot taller than me, so it's gonna sit at a different spot on your body than it does for me. But for me, you can see it hits basically right at the top of my hip. I think it's a really nice spot for it to sit. It pretty much clears my elbow, so I don't have any issues with my arm hitting down on it and squishing it. Um, I do try and take care though when I have my arm sitting down that I'm not pressing against it. Just trying to help it not get that pointiness at the top. So another way that you can wear this bag, and honestly, I don't wear it this way because I feel on me that it's really long. This is just on one shoulder, and I think it for me, it sits a little bit too low, so I don't actually ever wear it this way, but this is definitely a way that you could wear the bag. I know a lot of people do choose to wear it this way. And then the third way would be to have it crossbody. So if I'm not wearing it with the straps doubled up on one shoulder, this would be the way that I would be wearing it. Um, I tend to have it sit more in the front just to protect it from anybody banging into it. You can see here that it sits basically just after my waist. I think that it sits honestly in such a great spot. I think that this way looks best on my frame. 
All right, you guys, so that wraps up my review of my Gucci Marmot flap in the small size. I hope that I answered any potential questions that you guys may have had about this bag. I really tried to make this a really good, complete and thorough review for you guys. If you guys have any additional questions about the bag, please feel free to leave me a comment down below. If this is your first time stopping by, my name is Natalie. I make fashion, beauty and lifestyle videos. I do a lot of handbag reviews as well as a lot of unboxings and hauls. So if those videos interest you, please hit that subscription button right down below. Don't forget to click the notification bell as well so you are notified of all of my upcoming videos. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.